today uh, I thought I would talk about these, these Titan pallet forks that I have. I um, had a set of pallet forks for my tractor uh, a few years back. I don't remember. I paid five or six hundred bucks for them, and they were relatively lightweight, but I didn't think they would be busted or nothing. But man, I ended up breaking those within a year. I was real disappointed in those uh, those pilot forks. So I bought this set of heavy duty pilot forks from uh, Titan. And uh, I gotta say, I've been very pleased with these. I run them on my tractor and on this skid steer. And I can just beat the heck out of these things and they don't seem to flinch. I mean, uh, I love the big backer plate. I was thinking on not buying the version with the big back plate. I'm so glad I did. Uh, when you move hay, the hay slides right back to that uh, because this pilot fork, here let me, well, I got the hydraulics lock, but uh, this pilot fork can do, if you can see that little hole there in the middle, you can pop those uh, two pilot fork arms off and you can just bolt on the spear. There's a spear there and two smaller spears at the bottom. And uh, it works great as a hay spear. It actually, the hay bale can come all the way back nice to this uh, this backing here, and uh, it carries the hay very well. But I don't use it for that that much. I use it really for the pallet forks, and I always leave it in this configuration. Like right now, I'm moving two concrete culverts over to a little creek area where I'm gonna build a road, a driveway over it. And, um, I was using it going, hey man, I don't think I've ever talked about these Titan pilot forks, but uh, I gotta say, you know, I can recommend these. They've been great. I have picked up, I don't, it's kind of hard to see. I got some 4,500 pound uh, concrete blocks there, two by two by six, and they have an estimate about 4,500 pounds, and these things don't even flinch, doesn't flex the frame, nothing. It'll just pick those things right up. Uh, now, my skid steer practically falls forward, but uh, I take it easy with those, but uh, yeah, I mean, it runs, it, this thing does great. I've, uh, I've actually used it to dig up a couple of roots before. Um, I've yanked out fencing with these things. I've done all kinds of crazy stuff with these forks, and uh, man, they've taken all the abuse I can give them, and, and uh, nothing, I mean, there's not a twist, there's nothing in the frame, these things are really doing great, so uh, I definitely recommend these uh, these pilot forks. I'll put a link down in the description of the page where you can find these pilot forks, and um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm going to get another part of the video with me out there with them so you can see them, but I, I love these. This is one of the, the most used uh, attachments I have here at the farm with, uh, with the skid steer. And half the time, you know, or I use them with the, the tractor. They're just, this thing's on here as much as the bucket is, so. But let me, uh, let me get some shots from the outside before I conclude this video. So these are those huge concrete blocks I was talking about. My skid steer barely will lift them up, but it will lift them up just enough for me to move them around if I need to. But uh, these forks take it no problem. So, uh, I think they're rated at 6,000 pounds. I can't remember. Don't hold me to that. The page will tell you what they're rated at. But uh, I know they were rated pretty high. And like I said, I've moved. I've actually got quite a few of these concrete blocks. But uh, I've moved them. Uh, culverts, heavy pilots of T-posts. Uh, everything. And this, these pilot, this, uh, these pilot forks will do way more than this skid steer ever will. So, um... Uh, Great product, heavy duty. So yeah, that's them. This is them on the outside, as you can see. Very heavy duty forks. These are like forklift style forks. Very heavy. Adjustable. So they can move. They can move at any increment, but there are little notches there. Uh, that the pins can fall down into to hold them in a very specific place, but uh, basically they can move anywhere through that frame. It's easy to get in and out with this, uh, even with this backing on it, I can just step over it, but it's also got these steps on the side that help you climb into the cab. Um, 
even with the pilot fork on even if you have a pilot of stuff there uh, you can just climb in from the side and go right in uh, the frame is very nice and thick very strong there's uh, the hole for the main uh, hay spear and then you've got two smaller hay spears that go in the bottom that works very well and I just love the fact that it's got this big backing on it um, man that's that's been great and it lets uh, material or whatever fall back it falls back against that back barrier and holds everything nicely in place so it makes it much more stable uh, my first uh, pilot fork set that I had didn't have that and I was always dealing with stuff falling off and if I think something's a little unstable I'll just tilt it back toward me and let it rest against that uh, that backing and it works great so but yeah this uh, when I was looking for a good sturdy pilot fork um, set this was man by far the cheapest and I hate to say the word cheap least expensive version of a heavy-duty pilot fork set like this um, you know I think there's other companies that have something almost exactly like this they have the different name etched in the back uh, but they want two three four five hundred dollars more for a set and uh, so this one was uh, very reasonably priced uh, was the least expensive compared to all the other ones that I looked at like this and they shipped it to me free so uh it just made it the cheapest way to go uh, for a good set of pilot forks anyways i expect this set to last me through my lifetime and uh you know i'm hoping it does but uh, if you're looking for some good pilot forks that uh, also can convert to be a hay spear i would totally go for this one even if you didn't want the the hay spear uh, you can buy this set up without the hay spear it's a little bit cheaper but for me i think it was i don't remember what it was 20 or 40 dollars more or something and i was like hey you got two implements in one so why not so um it's worked out well so i definitely recommend this thumbs up from me if you need a good uh skid steer adaptable uh forks like i said it's got i use it on my skid steer a lot but i also use it on my tractor that also has the up for me guys i'll put a link down in the description if you want to see what version this was or, or what exact product i bought it's going to be down there in the description thanks everyone